Hello. How are you? I know, I know. I, I was on sabbatical. And uh, I've been away for a while, so I totally understand you being concerned. Well, it's so good to see you. It really is. And I'm so happy to be here today. Yes, I brought my notes. <laughs> you know I can't go anywhere without my clipboard. I'm always writing something down. What do I have today? Well, I have a lot of important things to discuss. But one of the neatest things I have to discuss is that I found somebody who makes these most wonderful rune stones. Yes, they're very, very interesting. I don't know a lot about rune stones. Of course, they're a divining item. And I don't know if I believe in divining, fortune telling, and horoscopes. But these are quite different. They seem to have, well, they smell good at least. They have some strange qualities to them. And uh, I find them most intriguing. Would you, would you like me to show you how they work? I have some notes here on rune stones. And um, basically how to do divination. But maybe I should just ask my friend to help me. You know, see they all have different meanings here and they all have different um, you know symbols on them like for instance this one is is brute strength this one is the seeing of the future a reference this one references the ancient you know ancestral god Odin I can't read today I need my glasses but anyway, we could we could try to do a, a rune stone reading if you'd like. But I'm not sure if I I should be the one doing it. Maybe I could get some help from my friend. So let me see if I can get Raven to come here and help me. Okay, hang on a second. Let me see if I can call her. You have to like become one with nature. And I'm not very good at that. As you can see, I'm a little stuffy. Okay. Raven, it's so good to see you today. How are you? I'm doing well. And uh, I was just telling everyone about your rune stones. Would you care to show everyone or help me do a divination. I brought those notes that you gave me. I used the mimeograph to uh, make a copy of them from the book. So I have a good copy of all the notes that you sent me out of that book that you highlighted, all the pages. So we could do a reading together. You could kind of instruct me because of course I really don't know how they work. And I think I could get the hang of it. It would be interesting to show everyone how they work. So, okay, you don't mind? Okay, let me set up my camera so we, we can record this. And uh, we'll, do, we'll do a reading of these rune stones. That'll be a lot of fun. Okay. Okay. Now, if I remember right, Raven, you don't use like a hard surface like this. You were telling me we have to lay down a, a soft surface catch the stones. So I'm going to spread this towel out and we're going to try and, there we go, get all the wrinkles out <laughs> so it doesn't interfere with the reading and uh, it's a little wrinkly. But let's uh, do this, let's spread it out a little more. Okay, this is an old towel I brought from home. a little bit better. Okay. 
and yes, I brought my notes. I'm never without my notes, <laughs> so here we go. And I'll get them out over here. Okay, so we have the runestone notes right here, and here are the runestones that you make uh, with these little intricate bags. This is really cool. Okay, now what we're gonna do is I'll just follow your instruction and then you tell me what to do and I'll just, you know, carry on. Okay. So first things first, I need to get a small handful. Okay. So let's dump them all out and make them random. And then we'll put them back in the bag. They're all back in the bag. They've been randomly mixed up. Okay, now I will reach in and grab just a, a few. All right, and now we will do a, what's called a, a casting. Okay, and we'll just cast them out. Okay, now for our purposes here today, we're only going to be concerned with the rune stones that are facing up. So these ones that face down we're going to remove and I'm going to take them right to left well the way they were positioned and I'll position them this way okay here and we'll throw these two out okay now this is as you were telling me earlier a a standard divination. We read these three, and then this would be facing away from me, the past, and this would be facing me, the future, past and future. So let's get an idea of what we're talking about here. This one with an arrow is tear, I believe. Okay, and let me see some information on here. Okay. Tear the sky god. Okay. And to be successful in competition, very motivated, finding the spiritual or transcendental self. Okay. Now the reverse of that is low energy and lack of enthusiasm. Now this is very telling that this came up in our casting concerning myself. I mean, I know you're helping me, but but I'm going to use myself as maybe the uh, person being uh, peered into, you know, looking into my situation. Um, I have had low energy and lack of enthusiasm. Even though I've had a lack of energy, I have tried to um, strive towards, you know, finding my higher being, uh, connecting with people, um, trying to make my life better. So I could see this being in a casting about myself okay so that's very telling that um, yes there's a lot of hardship and a lot of uh, things that take me away from my work but I'm constantly striving to go forward so that's very interesting I, I think that's neat okay the next one let's see if we can find that on our master sheet right here and that is ash I believe so See if we can find ash. Okay. Or is that cattle? Oh, I misread that. This one is cattle. So let's get these put back together. Okay. So what we have now is cattle. Abundance through effort, inheritance of self and self value, material gain, earned income, success, happiness, and wealth. I have had a lot of success lately financially. Um, it's the end of the year. We had Christmas. We had an abundance of wealth. We spent an abundance of wealth. Uh, we also went on vacation, and you know, I try to recharge my batteries. So this is showing a lot of good in my life. The reverse is abandonment of plans, loss, disappointment, and frustration. I haven't uh, tried to connect with people in a long time, 
and I've been away a, a, a long time from my uh, communicating and uh, keeping in touch with people. So there's a lot of frustration in my life because I, I just can't be everything to everyone. And, and I can see that. That really fits me quite well. Okay, and the last one is this M right here. And it's not for Dr. Andrew Michaels, I'll tell you that. It's the horse. Okay, I know it's the horse. I'm going to read it wrong. Okay. This is, these notes are really helpful. I really want to tell you that I appreciate you giving me these. Okay, um, okay. here we go. The sacred horse. All right. Well, that's pretty cool. Okay, the balance of things in the universe, stability, move forward, carefully focusing on the tools that will help you get there. Okay. It is important to stay focused or you do fall behind in all aspects of your life. The reverse of that is sudden unexpected change that is not wanted. Well, I did have to leave suddenly and quit working and communicating with people. And it was very frustrating and I tried to keep in touch but I don't think I did a very good job and this is a part of life that is just something you have to deal with when things come up that you can't deal with except to let a little bit of time go by and, and recharge your batteries and, and get back on track. So once again very telling and very interesting read. Okay so now we're gonna look at this side. So this would be towards me, the no, to away from me. That would be the future. So that one's a little hard to read. That one is a, oh, I don't know. Hmm. It's not that one. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think it's hail. can't tell which one this is. Am I reading it wrong? Hmm. Let me look through on here. Oh, oh here it is. Destructive forces. Uh-oh. This refers to the destructive forces of nature and things that are out of our control cannot be reversed. This is the future. I do see many, many things on the horizon that I know I will not be able to combat and deal with. From aliens continuing to attack the people of this planet to some other issues that I can't even talk about uh, due to top secret classification. But you need to know that I'm going to do the best I can. And even though I may lose the battles in the future, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep going. So that's a little frightening and a little disconcerting, but it is in the future. And when you cross paths with the type of beings that I deal with on a regular basis, it's not surprising that would come up in my future. And it cannot be reversed. So fate is what it is. It's very, it's very scary. And of course, we'll go back to the past now. Maybe I read this wrong. And in the past, it is ice. Frozen in time, calm, non-action, everything on hold, letting go of ego and seeking your inner truths. You are blocked by your emotions, cannot be reversed. These are very interesting because I'm a black and white person. I'm a black and white person, and I can see these coming up in my life in a reading about myself. Because in the past, there was nothing I could do about certain events, certain things. And there's no going back. There's no changing the past or mistakes that I've made. The things that I've put in motion through the alien technology that was given to me, these things are not going to go away. They're changing the world constantly. They're reverse engineering the devices that I gained from our 
alien allies after World War II. And these devices are slowly but surely changing the world that I live in in very dramatic fashion. From computing power to space travel to weapons. And it's not going to stop. And it can't be fixed. I can't go back in time and fix any of this. And because I've put these things into motion, I'll do the best I can in the present every day. But in the future, I know someday some destructive force is going to come along and put an end to our meddling. This is a galactic war that we've been involved in for a very long time that we didn't even know we were a participant in. And we almost lost in World War II. We almost lost to the Axis powers and their allies. So that being said, I'll just continue to do the best I can. And Raven, I want to thank you for sharing these runestones with me. And I plan on doing more divinations in the future if that's what all of you want. So if you'd like and you do want a reading done, let me know. And you'll be the subject of the reading and not myself as I did this time. Okay, now time to wrap it up. There we go. That was really wonderful. I enjoyed that. Raven, I'd like to thank you for coming today and helping me do this reading. I had a lot of fun and it was neat showing everybody how divination can work. And as a tool to help people in their lives, I think it can be helpful in showing people things within themselves. Maybe not the future and the past, but definitely helps people identify issues they have in their own life. And that could be a good tool. And I can see where divination helped in the past. So once again, thank you for sharing your knowledge of divination and your runestones with us today. And I don't know, we'll, we'll see if people enjoyed this. And if they did, I'll do another reading with uh, my friend Raven. So let me know. I do appreciate being back on this channel again, helping and making videos about the paranormal and my studies as I discover supernatural events all over the country. If you'd like to um, leave a comment below, I would appreciate that. And if you want to share my video, I would appreciate that as well. Plan on seeing a lot more videos in the future. Uh, I was away for vacation, a very long sabbatical over the Christmas break. But uh, now that that's over with, I plan on doing a lot more videos. So keep in touch with me and I'll keep in touch with you. Thank you and have a most blessed day.